There's been very good writers in Doctor Who in the classic series, which I absolutely love. The writing is absolutely tremendous. Even though I'm such a diehard and a lover for the classic series, I have to admit there are some bad writers, but some writers in this list are just absolutely perfection at writing. Join me through the journey as I go through my top 10 classic Doctor Who writers. So welcome everybody to my top 10 classic Doctor Who writers. So yes, we are going to get kicking off straight away at number 10. And we have John Lucerati, which he's definitely one that I like for William Hartnell's era, as he's a very good historical writer. And I would recommend you, if you would check out his stories, such as Marco Polo, The Aztecs and the Massacre, if you're a fan of historical stories. You would definitely like this style of writing from John Lucerati. Of course, he's done some classic historicals, like the Aztecs, which is also is being said to be an almighty historical story. And of course... The very classic Lost Marco Polo, which has sadly been lost to the BBC archives. I would definitely put this historical writer in my top 10. So that was number 10, John Lucerati. Moving on to number 9. At number 9, we have Ian Stewart Black, who's definitely again done some good stories which I do enjoy. Even though I don't really enjoy The Savages, which is by there, which was Stephen's last story, he's de definitely done some stories which I do enjoy. The War Machine, it is not regarded as like the best William Hartnell, but I do think it's very well done. And with the Macro Tarot, which is sadly lost from the BBC archives, it also feels like a very atmospheric story. So I do like Ian Stewart's writing very, very well. So that was number nine, Ian Stewart. Now we're moving on to number eight. Number eight, we have Brian Hales, which he's been writing the Ice Warriors stories since the Ice Warriors to the Seeds of Death, and also the Peladon stories as well, which I do, if you enjoy the Ice Warriors, then you will enjoy his writing, because some of his stories are really good, even though the Ice Warriors I don't regard as a classic, but the Seeds of Death I do class as a classic. And if you didn't know, he actually did written the Celestial to Toy Maker along with Donald Tosh as well. So yeah, that's regarded as another classic story, which is sadly another lost story which does not exist. So that was number. Ah, no, I forgot my number. Number eight, Brian Hales. I would definitely recommend him if you like the Ice Warriors. At number seven, we have Malcolm Hulk. Now, I do like Malcolm Hong's writing. He's also done the Silurian stories as well, Doctor Who and the Silurians, and the Sea Devils, which are both regarded as classic stories. Do I agree with this? Yes, they are cracking stories, definitely. And he's also written the Faceless Ones as well, which I think is another brilliant Patrick Troughton story. Again, it is just fantastic writing. I do love his writing a lot. I think he also written the War Games as well. I think he was co-writer of that, I'm not sure, but we'll, we'll see the, the war games come up in a sec. So that was number seven, Malcolm Holt. So at number six we have Terence Dix. Now you can see the war games has approached now, because I don't, I forgot who was the co-writer of it, Terence Dix or Malcolm Holt, because my mind doesn't serve me a bit um, correctly, but I think Terence Dix was the main writer. Quote me if I got that wrong, but yes, again, Terence Dix is a writer which I do enjoy his writing. He also written The Five Doctors, which I do think is quite of an underrated story in my opinion. It is classic in some people's eye, but some people find it a bit of a bland of a story, since multi-doctor stories aren't regarded very well in the classic series, like The Three Doctors, which is said to be quite bland as well, as well as The Two Doctors. War Games, what can I say about The War Games? It's just a classic. And Robot, which was Tom Baker's introduction story. Definitely, I would class that as another good introduction story for the Doctor. Not the best, but still a very good introduction for a Doctor. So that was number six, Terence Dix. Well, of course you would see him here. At number five, we have the almighty T Terry Nation, who may... 
created the Daleks. Well, not really. The Davros was the creator, but he was the person who got the idea for the Daleks. He was the guy who started the Daleks all the way back here with the, the story all the way back in 1963 called the Daleks and you know he's done some classic stories. The one I'm looking at right now, Genesis of the Daleks, regarded as one of the best stories ever and voted by Doctor Who magazine, but now Caves of Andruzani has reached to number one, which we will see soon, and he's done also, if you didn't know, the Daleks Master Plan, which I w is an now a granted as the mother of all Hartnells. Definitely, I think every, every person would class in their top 10 classic to have Terry Nation and their list because he, everyone does like the Daleks in some shape or form. Now we're moving on to number four. Number, f number four, which I'm quite sad, he's only done two stories, which is John Houghton, or Don Houghton, I'm sorry. He has done a very classic story, one of the best. These two stories are my both favorite John Purvey stories. The bloody masterpiece of Inferno and The Mind of Evil, which is regarded as an average story, but I think it's fantastic. But I will agree, Inferno is just a mind-blowing of a story, and I would recommend that to any New Who fan who wants to get out there in the classics. Definitely start an Inferno, because you will be blown out of your mind, because it's definitely a lot better than another... a lot of New Who stories. It's definitely a Kane story, as well as The Mind of Evil, in my opinion. I wish Don Houghton did some more stories, but he only did the two, which is quite upsetting in my opinion, because I think he's a fantastic writer. So that was number four, Don Houghton. So at number three, we have the very famous Robert Holmes. Now, of course, I was talking about Case of Andrew Zani being the number one story ever, but sadly, I don't have that with me since I'm... I borrowed that from a friend, so I can't really showcase Case of Andrew Zani, even though it's regarded as the best story. Doctor Who, but of course I'm showing some classics from Robert Holmes, like The Talons of Wayne Chiang, Spearhead from Space, and The Ark in Space. Yeah, what can I say about Robert Holmes? He's a tremendous, fantastic writer, written some of the most best stories in Doctor Who era, and this is Robert Holmes' first ever story he's written, The Crotons, which isn't regarded as a good story. Even though he's a very good writer, he, he hasn't had fantastic story sometimes the crotons the space pirates he actually written space pirates not regarded as a good story but you have to admit he's done some bloody classic stories so that was number three of course the brilliant robert holmes now we're moving on to number two here we have a fantastic writer known as kid peddler who's done the writing for the Cyberman stories, including the Moon Base, of course, which I probably can't fit on the camera. I'll just move it a bit back. Oh, I'll just have to put it by there for now. But yeah, Kid Peddler is one of my favourite writers. I love the Cyberman stories back in the 1960s, the Tenth Planet, the Moon Base, the Tomb of Cybermen, and the Invasion he written. He written all these stories here, and it's, they're just fantastic. I like every single story here. They're all absolutely fantastic stories. I do highly recommend you get these stories, because you will be very impressed. But I have to agree, the 1960s Cybermen are the best time of era for the Cybermen. Definitely, the Cybermen were a real threat in 1960. Now we're moving on to number one. And this writer right here is definitely my number one writer. He has written some of the most classic stories I can ever imagine. And he definitely deserves my number one place. So number one, we have, we have the fantastic David Whittaker. Definitely on my favorite writer for Doctor Who. He's done some of the most classic stories I can ever imagine. He's written Power of the Daleks, Evil of the Daleks, which have been regarded as the best Dalek stories, which I agree on. He has written The Most Found on the Enemy of the World, which I also agree, even though The Enemy of the World is an underrated story, but I class it as a fantastic story. As well, he did 
write the wheel in space, which was an idea from Kid Peddler as well, which I will say is a fantastic Cyberman story. Definitely at number one goes to David Whittaker. So thank you for watching my top 10 classic Who writers. Maybe I might do it in all time or maybe I'll do new Who next or who knows. I will see you in my next video on Friday which will be the review of the Crotons. So I'll see you in that video and have a brilliant day everybody.